hey 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 welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and i hope you stay today i am going to be making some butter bread without wasting time let's just get started so i'll get a bowl and come in with about 400 grams of all peppers flour i'll drop in a pinch of salt to taste i'll grate in some nutmeg I'll come in with my mother yeast, I'll be using about 40 grams, a teaspoonful of sugar. I'll go ahead and mix the dry ingredients up. Next, I'll drop in about 70 grams of butter, a pinch of vanilla essence, 50 grams of milk. I'll go ahead and mix it up to form a dough. I'll be coming in with lukewarm water. I'll add it till I get the correct consistency. Now I'll come in with my fingers and start kneading it. I'll be doing this for about five minutes. I'll ship it into a bowl. Finally, I'll come in with a plastic wrap, I'll just cover it up. I'll let this sit for about 3 hours to let it rise. So it's been after about 3 hours and as you can see, it has risen about 3 to 4 times. I'll sprinkle some flour on baking paper and put my raisin dough on it. I'll go ahead and knead it again. I'll be doing this for about 5 minutes. I'll go ahead and ship it up. Then I'll put it in the baking pan, dust it with some flour. I'll let this rise for about one more hour. Afterwards, I'll put it in a preheated oven of about 150 degrees Celsius. I'll be baking this for about 30 to 40 minutes. So it's been after about 40 minutes and our bread is ready. I'll just get it out of the pan. And here we are. I'll just go ahead and cut a piece. This is super soft. It's crusty on the outside and it's soft inside. You definitely need this on your breakfast table. As you can see, it's not super dry. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our butter bread. I hope it did help you and I hope you are going to give this a try. If you do, let me know how it comes out for you. If you've not subscribed, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with family and friends and don't forget to leave me that big fat thumbs up. Until next time, I am going to see you again with another nice and interesting one. Bye bye.